All right, we're back to the first of three presidential debates between Democrat Hillary Clinton and Republican Donald Trump is now in the books. Who came out on top? Depends who you ask. Welcome back, political analyst and Hawaii Pacific University Communications Chair, Dr. John Hart, back to wake up today. Uh, earlier, I asked you your opinion on who was on top, and for the viewers who weren't uh, with us in, in the last half hour, your thoughts on who came out on top? Well, if you scored it strictly as an academic debate, Hillary Clinton wins on points. No big takeout, no great line. Uh, Trump's people will still be happy with what he did. But if you had to say who won this debate on the arguments, Clinton was better prepared, and it showed. Yeah, a, a format that favor, favored, I think, uh, Hillary Clinton last night in, in some ways. Talk about the format that we saw last night. What's ahead in the next two debates? Because that, too, could have an effect on who comes out on top. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, the format was really mixed in terms of who it favored. Yeah. Uh, the idea Donald that you have a moderator asking questions uh, favors Clinton. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, the moderator last night lost control. Trump is very good in these kind of situations. He dominated the time. If he would uh, check out how much time people mm -hmm. were on the air, he had more face time than she did. Uh, this is the format for this debate. It will be format for debate number three. The middle debate, debate number two, is a town hall format. This is where uh, different people ask the candidates question. It's a bit more folksy. This is something Trump is expected to do better at. And I think given what we saw in this last debate, I think we'll see a more aggressive Trump in the town hall format. I think the word aggressive has been used. I think some of the, some, some of the pundits even say bullying. Uh, but that format definitely will favor somebody who's a little bit more aggressive in, 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 in choice of words and also uh, style, if you right. will. Uh, the question a lot of folks are asking this morning, and it's something that I, I asked you in the commercial break, how effective are debates to the process of picking our next president? Because at the end of the day, it's, it's really about the electoral votes. Absolutely. Well, a couple things to remember here. Debates don't change the mind of people who have already decided. Right. So when you looked at Democrats, they think Hillary won. You look at Republicans, they think Trump won. You're not going to get any of those people to flip. It does matter for the undecided voters. Mm -hmm. And this time, it's a high amount. 15 to 20 percent still say they're not not sure. Debates inform us. The founding fathers wanted an informed electorate. And if you watch the debates for 90 minutes, you are definitely more informed. You definitely have a sense of who these people are and how they would govern. Well said. Uh, at the, and again, at the end of the day, the old cliche, 100 million people may have watched this debate last night. There's, there's, two, there's a reason for that, and it's two words. Donald Trump. <laughs> he brought yes. a lot more people to 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 watch what could be of course our next leader to lead us into the to the next uh, future dr hart good to always see always you. see appreciate you. appreciate you sharing your thoughts we'll see you in the next debate